It's been less than a year since One Wheel hit Kickstarter, and there are already building and shipping units. Today we're here at the manufacturing line to see how they put these things together. So let's start with what's new with One Wheel. Uh, what's changed since the last time we talked? Yeah, so we've totally overhauled the electronics and the firmware to really improve the ride quality. So when we last saw you, you could ride one wheel you know, casually on a flat surface, but now it's really got great hill climbing performance. You can ride uh, on different types of surfaces, so you know, on grass, on dirt, on gravel, uh, and people are starting to do some pretty big tricks with it. So we've really re-engineered the product from the inside out, and the result is a much better riding experience. And you actually have different modes now, right? So you can have sort of a novice and an expert mode? Totally. So with our new iPhone app that we literally just submitted to the App Store yesterday, uh, we introduced this concept of digital shaping. And digital shaping is um, a word that comes from sur the surfboard world, right? Uh, shaping is you know, making small changes to a board to make it ride differently uh, to suit a rider and the conditions. And so from the app, we have uh, digital shaping, which by changing the firmware uh, and the tuning values, we can change the way it rides. So we can make it easier, um, more under control, more forgiving, um, or we can make it more aggressive, more athletic, um, faster, and, and more challenging for people. Now, it's been less than a year since you actually launched on Kickstarter, and you're already shipping units. Yeah. Um, that seems pretty unprecedented, especially for a product this complex. How did you manage to do that? Yeah, so after the Kickstarter, we just you know, took the ball and ran with it. And we uh, dove in, we hired people, we hired uh, full-time people, contract people, and we just staffed up a great team to make this happen. And a, a big part of it, too, was deciding to make the product in the U.S. And so we've been working with um, our contract manufacturer here to build the supply chain um, that brings in parts from all over the world. And um, you know, finding all those vendors, getting connected, you know, all of our parts are on their fifth or sixth revision now because we've just been iterating and just pushing super hard to get it into production. And we've shipped our first several hundred units out to customers. Okay, so let's actually talk about the manufacturing process. Totally. Uh, it's happening behind us right now. Yeah. Um, and you have sort of what you think of as like an old school assembly line. <laughs> uh, how, does, how does that work? What are the different uh, processes? Totally, so here at our manufacturing facility in San Jose, we go from pieces of metal, wires, and circuit boards to one wheels, right? And uh, that involves a lot of hand labor, um, also some custom design tools and fixtures that we've made to do it. Cool, so we're gonna walk through the different steps of the process here. Uh, so what's happening in this first section of the subassembly? Yeah, so there's three main parts to the one wheel. There's the controller, the battery module, and the motor. So this is where the controller uh, circuit board gets assembled into its enclosure. These are uh, PCB assemblies that we get built across the bay in Fremont. And they come over here, she assembles them and tests them uh, as the first step. Yeah, so after the uh, uh, controller is mounted and assembled in there, and this is where the enclosure gets put together. We have waterproof gaskets that um, you know, seal everything in, and she's assembling that uh, using a little torque wrench. She's also making some uh, final checks that all the connectors are properly uh, assembled and that everything's sealed in. Okay, and is this, uh, does this happen on for both sides of the one wheel, um, or yeah, is this so just one? On, on one side of the one wheel is the controller, and on mm -hmm. the other side is the battery module. So here she's building the battery module. So this holds the powerful lithium iron phosphate battery that's in one wheel and also has the cable that connects the two sides, connects the battery to the motor controller. Um, you'll see also in the front, there's a little um, strip of LEDs. Um, there's white and red LEDs on either side. And depending on which direction you're going, you always have a headlight and a tail light. So th this section of the line is where we actually mount the tires on the motor. Mm -hmm. So the, the motor is custom developed for us. It's a brushless hub motor. Um, and you see it's actually integrated in, it is the wheel itself. And then we take a racing go-kart tire um, and that gets mounted on uh, using this machine over here. Once they're mounted up, uh, we take them over to this jig and we do a quick test spinning the motor for about a minute, making sure um, that it spins properly in both direction and there's not any weird vibration or sound. Um, and then with that done, we come down here and this is really where things start getting integrated and become a one wheel. So you can see right now, he's putting the controller module into a one wheel. Controller module at this end, battery module is already installed at the other end. Once that's done, we'll drop in the motor 
uh, entire subassembly and it'll look like a one wheel. The firmware gets loaded at some of these earlier stages and when we get down to this uh, last stage, it's really the final integration. So he's uh, logging data about this particular uh, one wheel, keeping track of all the serial numbers for the sub modules so that uh, if anybody has questions in the field, we can trace back to exactly uh, when it was made, when each module was made, who made them, um, what components are in it, so that we can you know, diagnose anything that comes up. Um, and this is where, once he's done with that, he attaches the foot pads. Um, and the foot pads are actually made down in Southern California. And then we, um, one of the changes since we last saw you was before we had a little button that you had to step on with your mm -hmm. foot. We've since replaced that with um, this special force sensing pad that's under the grip tape. Oh, wow. So under this blue area, you just put your foot anywhere in this blue area, and that's what activates the one wheel. So it's actually like a smart foot pad. And then it gets put in this box here. Exactly. So the, the final stage is um, taking the one wheel once it's all buttoned up, doing final TQC quality checks, and putting it in our packaging. All right, cool. Well, thanks for the tour and uh, good luck. For sure. Thanks a lot.